All right, good afternoon. I want to go over our positions, our current positions, the uh, mindset behind the whole thing, and also go into the uh, ES blueprint for the uh, end of the day. So current holdings are uh, pretty small. I didn't like uh, what I saw today. Uh, pretty sideways action, um, but who knows, right? The rest of the, the week could be glorious, and so let's keep our uh, fingers crossed, okay? So a couple positions here. The first one I'm going to start off with is McDonald's. Small position, open up five contracts. Uh, spent somewhere closely around $150, $160. Uh, nothing big. And uh, the reason why I'm choosing not to go big here, and you'll, you'll, you'll know when I go big. I'll let you guys know. Uh, but market's volatile. Uh, there's a lot of things going on right now. I think people are really um, kind of unorganized in their thoughts and don't really know which way they want the market to go and therefore I feel the same way I really do at the end of the day okay so I'm not seeing anything too bullish or too bearish and uh, it kind of makes sense for us to go sideways right so anyways looking at McDonald's here um, not to make it too confusing but basically price closed just below uh, the 61.8 of this current trend here this downtrend and uh, it was looking nice and bullish we were above the uh, 61.8 for for quite some time this morning so i chose to uh pick the 162.5s because you guys know if you've been following me the probabilities of reaching up here the 88.6 are close to um 85 percent all right so that's why i got into these positions uh 162.5 now this might not happen till the end of the week and you know i close out flat but it's a 150 dollars position i feel okay with it regardless uh disclaimer anytime i open up options I look at them as if they're going to zero. If we make more than that, that's amazing, okay? So uh, targets here, first one being 160.58, and then 162.78, and then testing uh, this trend here at 164.83. If we do make profits uh, somewhere in between the middle of the week, I will roll out uh, going into earnings. Um, just to play that because overall we do have a bigger trend here and it would be nice to get up to the 50 of this downtrend okay so it looks like something like this i don't mean to get you all confused with all these lines but i'm just going to do this for reference real quick to get you a number and that just happens to be the 88.6 of this entire downtrend is the 50 so i do expect price to get up there all right moving over here we're going to go to uh, baba we are currently in the 197.5 that expired this week so let's take a quick look at that. Same thing here. So T2, we got close to it today, expecting a price to move up here to 195.08. Um, and then after breaking out of 195.83, I do expect a target of 201.33. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a fib on this as well. From pivot high to pivot low. We are above the 61.8, which is very bullish, and that puts us a probability of 85% getting up to the 202.07. The one thing that we don't know is the timing on this, okay? I mean, this could happen next week. It could happen the week after. We're hoping that it can happen this week, okay? So let's all, uh, let's all look for some great CPI numbers in the morning and uh, very bullish into this name, and uh, it'd be nice to get up into the, uh, the 200 range here. Let's go ahead and close this out real quick. Now, I will tell you, if price wants to come down, uh, there is a buy zone here roughly at the 190.18. All right, our next position is Apple. And looking at Apple, I think it looks very bullish, guys. I mean, I really do. So we're in a zone here. And just give me a second. It got up to 182.39 today. It closed out, which just happens to be 23.6 in my box. This is always my first uh, target within my box. You probably won't be able to uh, replicate my box unless you know exactly what I'm doing. But the fibs uh, work for me inside my boxes, okay? Uh, going up to the second box here, or sorry, the, the second target is going to be your 50 at 183.52. This could be a, an area you want to get rid of uh, some of your positions as well. And then after that, guys, we're looking at surpassing the 184.31 and building up here to the 186.10. On the downside, all right, so this is a day chart. Look at all these nice green candles, okay? Not much in there for a um, buy zone, so I'm going to break this down into a four-hour, see what we can find. And right there, we have a nice little buy zone. 
and uh, roughly it looks like 180.91. Now what I will tell you on equity stocks, they don't work like my future stocks. So this is definitely a buy zone, but it doesn't have to come right to the wick or anything like this. This is its attempt of picking up orders here. And I guess it found enough. And the faster this candle moves out of that zone, the more bullish it is, okay? So anyways, that's gonna be our target to the downside. If we wanna reload here, 180.91, or just get out of the position if uh, you don't like what you see in here, okay? So we got our targets for the upside and downside. Now going into SPY, I'm hedged with the account and was asked tonight, hey John, why do you hedge? Well, the reason why I'm hedging into this week and last week is because the market's been very volatile. And to be very upfront with you, I've actually been able to make money on the up and down. So one day we might be super bullish and our SPX calls make us a lot of money. The next day we drop 20, 30, 40, 50 points. And then my puts are actually uh, in the money, right? So then I'm able to sell those as well. So it's been really nice being volatile. Now as a disclaimer, if it just goes sideways, you're kind of out of luck, right? Um, you, you just are. So those are there to make me feel better. I'm net long, meaning I have more call positions than I do uh, put positions and therefore I just want to offset the total loss if something goes wrong, right? So if I have $500 on the call side and I have $200 on the put side, if we drop into an untouched zone, it looks about four to five dollars away, then I'm going to make up for that difference on the other side of my call side. I might end the week with zero and paying my broker more fees than I actually made, but I'm happy. I'm happier that I didn't lose thousands or even hundreds, and I'd rather lose, let's say, 50 or 100 bucks for the week. That's just me, all right? So I feel a little bit safer about it. But also, I am bullish, and if uh, all goes well this week, then our SPX 2820s that expire Thursday and Friday, well, they're gonna make us enough money that we're not gonna care about the put side or we're not gonna care about Monday, all right? That's just how I feel. If any of you have any questions about strategies and so forth again i'm not a certified teacher or anything but i would definitely help you just with uh, my opinions and just my experiences in the market so let's go over here and check out the es all right so the es nothing has changed i mean we seriously just closed out at zero and here we are i mean <laughs> i mean we are not moving it's like cement is just stuck here. So the blueprint's not really going to look any different, guys. All right. So this is a four hour chart looking pretty. All right. We do have a, a buy zone down here that hasn't been touched. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, draw that out for you real quick. And it's just like that. So on the downside, I got a couple targets in between here. Okay. So all the way down here, you can see this white here. I'm going to go ahead and pull this up for you. And actually, I'm going to give you the bigger picture here on the four hour. Okay. Just like this. Remember, we have continuation candles over here. So check this out. We're going to use the wick, like I've always said. And you come over here and look what happened. All right. This is where we pulled down today. Bigger picture makes you feel a little bit less stressed, right? So this is what was going on on the four hour. Now that is a box, okay? And we can make that box real quick by outlining that cell zone. So let's just line it up here with this blue one here. And it looks like that. I'm gonna open this up a little bit for you. So this is gonna be our zone, okay? At the top of that zone, you're looking at about 2810. And that's what we're shooting for. The beginning of that zone, we're looking at 27.96. Okay, so we've already got in there once. Now we just need to get in there a little bit deeper. Okay, so we have our downside targets as well. But what we want to see tomorrow to be bullish, we want to be above the LIS. We want to be above the 61.8 so that we could push up. Look at this 88.6 is basically right here at the beginning of the box. We have 85% probability if we can uh, close above this, the 61A will shoot up in here into the box. And hopefully this time a little bit deeper, okay? Now I'm gonna break this four hour down a little bit more. We're gonna look at it one hour. I still don't see anything down through here. 
So I'm going to go to a 30 minute. And then I start seeing some of these red candles. See that? So that kind of gives me an idea where my zones are. I'm going to break it down to 15 minutes. And that's where you're going to see these. Okay. So on the downside, but I will tell you this is a buy zone. But once we left this, price came back. Okay. What I'm looking for is a zone that falls in the right candle pattern. And when, and when price left, it didn't come back. Okay. And here's a good one right here. So price left in here. So price really wanted to come back. We're going to put this about right there. And this was the reason for my thought on the 2760 puts today. Okay. But we just didn't get the volatility that we wanted. Unfortunately. All right. So anyways, this is going to be our zones. This is a bigger picture down here. So our first zone is going to be right in here at the 2757. And we are high on the curve. Okay. And again, if we push down, this is our protection. If we have the SPY 278, then you can see about a 3 or $4 gain uh, to the downside here. All right. Well, if you guys have any questions, please hit me up. DM me. Uh, you don't have to necessarily put it right in the chat. You can just send it to me um, privately and I can answer your questions. Or if you want everyone to see it, you're more than welcome to uh, post it in the main chat. Thank you and uh, see you in the morning.